Good evening, you're joining Prime TV News. I'm Niroshan De Silva. First, the headlines. The repoll in Navalapitiya and Kumburupiddi ends peacefully. Results are due before midnight. China pledges support for activities related to children and women. Obstructions to air passengers destined for Europe continue. Visas of stranded foreigners are extended. Indian film icon Amitabh Bachchan is in the island to plan out the IFA awards ceremony. And on news overseas, some flights take off from Northern Europe after five days of inactivity due to the volcanic ash. Now for the news in detail. Popular and veteran Bollywood star Amitabh Bachchan meets President Rajapaksa. The meeting took place at the President's house this afternoon. On arrival, Amitabh Bachchan was accorded a warm welcome by Namal Rajapaksa. President's additional secretary, Gamini Sendrat, was also present. The president and the first lady arrived at the president's house and had a cordial discussion with the visitor. Mr. Bachchan appreciated the president for the enhanced facilities provided for foreign film producers who arrived in Sri Lanka. He also loaded the progress achieved by the Sri Lanka tourism industry. Thereafter, they exchanged pleasantries. They also posed for a group photograph. Central Bank Governor Ajit Divad Kabral and popular and veteran cinema artist Malni Fonseca and Ravind Randrenia also appeared for the group photograph. Thereafter, Amitabh Bachchan met Namal Rajapaksa and Rohit Rajapaksa, the sons of the president. He also posed for another photograph with them. President Secretary Lalit Viratunga and Mrs. Viratunga, additional Secretary Gamini Sendrat, W.B. Ganegala and George Michael were present. The entire results of all electorates of the Trincomalee district have been released. The results of the Trincomalee electorate, which includes the results of the Kumburupiddi polling booth for which a repoll was held today, has been declared. The Tamil National Alliance secured 180 votes at the Kumburupiddi polling booth. The Freedom Alliance polled 173 votes. The UNP received only 6 votes. Accordingly, the Tamil National Alliance has polled 20,578 votes in the Trincomalee electorate. The total votes polled by the Freedom Alliance is 10,960. The UNP received 8,718 votes. The entire results of the Trincomalee district has now been released. The United People's Freedom Alliance polled 59,784 votes and secured two seats. The United National Party has polled 39,691 votes and won one seat, while the Tamil National Alliance has won one seat from the Trincomalee district. The total votes it polled was 33,268. Meanwhile, counting of votes in the Navalapiti electorate is now in progress. Our representatives at the Kandy District Secretariat said that the result will be announced as soon as the counting is completed. Prime TV is prepared to announce the result as soon as it is received. A delegation including the Deputy President of the Chinese Women's Association is now on a visit to Sri Lanka. They have arrived at the invitation of First Lady Shiranti Rajapaksa. The entourage, headed by the Deputy President of the Chinese Women's Association Hong Tan Yu, reached the island this morning. They met the First Lady and had a cordial discussion on several matters related to both countries. The Chinese delegation agreed to extend full support for the activities related to women and children in Sri Lanka. The Chinese Women's Association, which maintains relations with more than 100 countries, is rendering a significant service on behalf of welfare of women and children. 
A cash donation of 7.5 million rupees was made for child welfare projects which are mooted under the patronage of the Sri Lankan First Lady. The delegation is due to visit Vaunia tomorrow. You're watching Prime TV News and still with news at home. All flights scheduled to depart and arrive at the Katunayak International Airport from London, Paris, Frankfurt and Rome were cancelled today as a result of the volcanic ash over the skies of Europe. Meanwhile, it has been decided to extend visas of foreigners stranded due to the cancellation of flights. Controller of the Department of Immigration and Emigration, P.B. Abekon, had this to say. This has been taken to uh, extend the visa from the uh, foreigners who have been in the country affected by the air travel disturbance in the European countries. So that uh, at the airport they will be granted a visa and uh, immigration authorities at the airport will allow them to leave the country without any extra payment. Development within the Gampaha district will be accelerated. Basil Rajapaksa solicits the support of public officials for this effort. He said that a majority of the public, that is at least 85 to 90 percent, visit government offices to find solutions to problems which can be sorted out without any delay. Divisional secretaries and heads of departments should be able to solve their problems. The government should create the environment for the public to stand up individually. This is what the president expect. Mr. Rajapaksa said the Gampaha district should set a new example. Mr. Rajapaksa was addressing a special meeting organized for public officials of the Gampaha district. The meeting broached the new development, broached the future development that should be in place following the resounding victory achieved by the government at the recently concluded election. Additional Defense Secretary Vili Gamage and Gampaha District Secretary P. A. Abesekara were present at this meeting. Indian film icon Amitabh Bachchan arrives in the island. The aim of his visit is to plan, to plan the conduct of the 11th IFA 2010 award ceremony of the International Indian Film Academy. Our representative Thilni Vijay Surya has filed this report from Cinnamon Grand Hotel where the Bollywood star held a new briefing. After a magical decade with celebrations across the world, the International Indian Film Academy will celebrate IFA awards in Sri Lanka this year. This would take our small island to the globe. Let's look forward. International Indian Film Academy has selected Sri Lanka this year to stage their award ceremony. It will be held for three days commencing on the 3rd of June. It is a pride for the entire nation that a decision had been taken to hold this award ceremony in the island with the total elimination of terrorism. The film festival has so far been held in many countries. Bollywood actor Amitabh Bachchan, who is the brand ambassador of the IIFA Awards Committee, revealed these details to the media today. The influx of visitors to the north and east clearly indicates the freedom achieved by the people to travel to any part of the country with the total eradication of terrorism. There are many visitors to historic sacred sites as well as tourist attractive places. It is springtime also for the Pasikuda beach. News on the Pasikuda scene is after the update of the election result. The influx of visitors to the north and east clearly indicates the freedom achieved by the people to travel to any part of the country with the total eradication of terrorism. 
There are many visitors to historic sacred sites as well as tourist attractive places. It is springtime also for the Pascuda Beach.